station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? I'm ready for the event. European Space Agency, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Satellite and satellite operations from the European Space Agency, ESA. And of course, at the end of this uh, opening ceremony, we have prepared a little surprise for you, which is related to innovation and to one of the most important investments in the future, which is, of course, our young people. And um, actually, Google, represented by Eric Schmidt, together with other partners and the European Space Agency, has prepared an exercise, a competition, which is called the YouTube Space Lab. And a lot of young people between 14 and 18 years took part in it. And actually, we have two representatives with us tonight, and please welcome the two, which is Sarah and Simon Kopf. So, Sarah, Simon, please come on the stage. Hello. So, as they have been preparing an experiment to be executed on board the International Space Station, of course, we are now in contact with the space station, and I will just call them. There is one of the European astronauts up there. Station. This is uh, the Hanover Congress Center. How do you hear me? Me <laughs> too. Loud and clear. So much. Good to hear you. Great, Andre. Can you please explain us where you are in the station and maybe over which region you are currently passing? Oh, uh, actually, I'm here in Columbus. This is the European uh, module, the science module, where we do a lot of uh, interesting stuff. And at the moment, the space station is going uh, pretty fast, as you know, uh, probably open from North America and then uh, the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, while well, the time that we're speaking, uh, we've probably passed half the planet. Oh, fantastic. Andre, I'm sure you have heard about the YouTube Space Lab exercise. Can you tell us a little bit what you know of that? I think, I think it's a fantastic uh, way that uh, young people can propose their, their, their brand new ideas. Uh, because young people are out of the box. They, they propose uh, experiments for space flight. And uh, that's a fantastic way to, uh, to get new experimental ideas because young people have the, have the future. They come with the new ideas and uh, they, they are the future. Yes, indeed, Andre. And now I have two young people who are eager to ask some questions and I guess some of our guests here as well. So, Sarah, Simon, please go ahead with your questions. Hello. Um, many people are very sick at the moment here in Germany. How does um, diseases develop in space? Can you get a cold on the IAS? So that we not erkalted on board. But naturally, there is the possibility to erkalt to on board. There are possibilities to get sick. We are more likely here in carotene. Virus and bacteria make us better. Um, the, I look at how our immune system is weakened in microgravity, where viruses are much more aggressive. Because space is such an extreme environment, it is a good place to test new things. And for more example. Simon, do you have another question? I just would like, if we don't interrupt you later on, could you give us an example of what experiment you are doing right now, or are you have sleeping time? Uh, we do at the moment experiments with biological um, cells. We have fluid um, experiments in physics, also in psychology on humans, and a very interesting um, essay which is very f 
good to um, connect with the seabed. We have very, we have many European experiments, and we use the Columbus uh, Lab. Well, I'm convinced you have enough to do at the moment. And I pass on the microphone. Andre, um, Andre. Uh, you will be coming back a little bit later. Maybe you can tell us uh, something about that. That's right. Um, uh, the, the mission is uh, six, six weeks longer, which is okay because I launched two weeks later. So, but uh, yeah, the extension is, is nice. It's a very special place here. Uh, very great uh, research we can uh, we do here, and of course uh, the, the weightlessness is fantastic. Unfortunately, when I come back uh, uh, later, I come back uh, sometime like the first of July, and that means that, uh, that I would miss uh, a game that we both would like, which is a football game uh, between Holland and Germany. <laughs> Andre, we would like to thank you very much for the time you have uh, taken to talk to us from orbit, uh, cruising with 28,000 kilometers per hour. And um, please give all our regards to your colleagues. Uh, we are waiting for you to return beginning of July. We will, of course, tape all the uh, matches that you will lose. And um, all the best to you. Very much. I think uh, it's a very uh, special uh, uh, event that you have there. Uh, I think uh, telemetry and informa information technology is very important. Uh, we are very much related in space flight uh, and, the, uh, and the technology on Earth. And I wish you a very good meeting there. Okay, so thank you very much, Andre. And if we can take a few minutes for a photo of all of us with you in the background, that would be fantastic. <laughs> All right. Ganz herzlichen Dank. Thank you very much. Aus Rheinland Pfalz, Ludwig. Ludwig Schaff. Station, this is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes the event. Thank you, ESA and SABET. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communications.